Hello, my name is Mariano Palacios and in this video I will show you how to perform current transformer testing using the Mega MVCT testing set. First, a disclaimer. This video is for professional presentation only and should not be taken as endorsement of any product, company, nor as professional advice. Here's the connection setup of the MVCT testing set and current transformer. The set is connected to the Windows based Megger PowerDB interface software via Ethernet. All testing is run from this interface for the purpose of this presentation, but the set can be ordered with a touch screen HMI for ease of use, especially when out in the field applications. The CT under testing is a GE-ITE 2000 to 5 ratio, single tap, NC accuracy class C200, 600 volt insulation. First, a quick refresher on core and transformer principles of operation. This is the basic steady state equivalent circuit of a CT, a primary winding and current, the secondary winding and total secondary current, the CT ratio relating primary and ideal secondary currents, and the magnetizing impedance of the CT which defines a saturation characteristic. The cable leads and relays wired to the CT are generally referred to as the burden. Once current flows through the primary circuit, the CT drives a secondary current through the burden and secondary winding. This is the current that the relays sends and operate upon. The relay current, IS, is thus the ideal total secondary current, IST, less the magnetizing current, IM. The magnetizing current is thus an error to the relay current. The simplest way to summarize how all of this comes together is this way. The primary current IP drives the ideal total secondary current IST. The total secondary current IST drives a magnetizing current IM, which causes the magnetizing voltage VM across a saturation characteristic. It is then this magnetizing voltage VM what drives the relay current IS through the burden and secondary winding. And by the way, I forgot to mention the CT secondary winding impedance, RS, right here. The magnetizing characteristic is only partially linear, and after some magnitude of magnetizing current IM, generally between 0.01 and 0.1 amps, the relationship saturates, making any further increase in primary current IP to increase magnetizing current IM or error with no corresponding increase in magnetizing voltage and consequently inaccurate current readings at the relays. The point at which saturation starts is referred to as the knee point. Depending on the applicable standard, it will be defined by a tangent line at a specific angle. In North America NC standards, this angle is generally 45 or 30 degrees. The main purpose of testing the CT is to evaluate its performance for the intended application. The main three characteristics that help us evaluate and apply CT calculations are the ratio, the saturation curve, and the secondary winding impedance. The standard method for CT testing generally consists of injecting current through the secondary terminals of the CT and measuring excitation on the primary side of it and between the H1 and X1 terminals. In field testing applications where a ground grid is available, a grounding jumper is connected between the H2 and X2 terminals for safety and insulation testing reference. With this arrangement, testing readings are recorded for estimation of ratio saturation and secondary winding impedance. 
Let us quickly recap the key ratings of the CT under testing on this presentation. We have a 2000 to 5 ratio, 600 volt insulation class, ANSI protective relaying accuracy class C200 at a standard burden of B1.2 ohms. It is important to point that the typical standard burden for ANSI accuracy class C200 is actually 2.0 ohms, and that by standard we mean a burden at a power factor of 0 0.5, referred to IEEE C37.110 Annex B. Also, accuracy class is a standard way of describing CT performance. For example, here it means that this CT is capable of delivering 200 volts on its terminal to a standard burden of 1.8 ohms with an error of 10% or less at 20 times its secondary current rating. That is, 20 times 5 equals 100 amps. We're finally ready to start running the software. The first thing is to launch the PowerDB platform, scroll down and look for the MVCT in this instrument selection view. The connection to the instrument starts. After successfully establishing connection, we're presented with the instrument main menu from where we can select all the different testing available. We then proceed to enter the CT nameplate information, most importantly the ratio, number of tabs, type of application, accuracy class, standard burden, and connected burden. We also can enter customer location information plus ambient temperature and humidity at time of testing. All this information is added automatically to the customer report. The first testing run is for CT ratio test. After selecting the test in the instrument main menu, we're presented with a connection diagram from the MVCT to the current transformer. The leads in the testing set are labeled and color coded accordingly for ease of setup. Enter the driving voltage for the current injection side. Numbers start running and we get the results for the ratio. Ratio error, phase deviation between primary and secondary and polarity check. The last step is to add these results to the customer report. The next testing run is for saturation characteristic. We confirm correct connections. We hit the run button and testing starts. It is worth to point out that all these interface screen recordings are fast forwarded in this presentation. The actual instrument takes longer to run the testing. We get the results displaying the saturation curve on the right and the coordinates of the knee point on the left. We have the option of displaying the knee point tangent line. We can view and copy the data points and we also have the option of importing data points from a previous test for comparison. Finally, we add the results to the customer report. The third testing run is for winding resistance. We select winding resistance in the main menu. I had a previous measurement recorded that will be overwritten on this run. We hit the run button, confirm connections, and testing starts. After the testing is completed, we have the option of demagnetizing the CT, which is recommended to avoid accidental shocking.
we obtain the value of the winding resistance and add to the customer report, which I failed to record in this part. The fourth testing run is for insulation integrity. The insulation test menu allows for three tests, primary to secondary, primary to ground, and secondary to ground. Unfortunately, these recordings are not from a real field installation, and consequently, I did not have a grid or building steel or any similar reference to ground the testing set. Thus, I will only run primary to secondary insulation testing in this presentation. We start running the test and the results come back with a healthy insulation of more than 20 giga ohms. We add the results to the customer report where primary to ground and secondary to ground values are left blank. The last test available in the Mayer MVCT set is for measuring the connected burden to the CT. The burden, which consists of all the relays, meters, and CT leads, can be set up by simply moving the instrument leads from the primary loop of the CT to the load side of the testing switches in actual field applications. For the purpose of this presentation, I ran the test on an OABB ITH electromechanical relay rated up to a maximum of 2 amps. Select the option for burden testing in the main menu, confirm connection setup, and select current injection level. First, we're going to run a 1 amp test and then a second run at 2 amps. We should expect to get two different burden values on each test. The first result comes with a burden value of 0.0030 volt amperes at a power factor of 0.32. We proceed to select a 2 amp current injection level, restart the test, and the second result comes with a new burden value of 0 0.0120 volt amperes at a power factor of 0 0.41. Double the coring, quadruple the burden in volt amperes. We send the results to the customer report. Before finishing all testing, I would like to test the effect of doubling the primary loop around the CT. This is an old technique used to reduce the effective CT ratio where primary cable size, bending and clearance allow for. First, we're going to clear all the previous testing data stored in memory. We select again for single tab CT application, hit the run button, check the connections, enter injection voltage level, the test starts running, and we obtain test results. The new result is a 1000 to 5 CT ratio. As expected, double the primary winding and the CT ratio goes down by half. Finally, the MVCT testing set has the capability of running self-diagnostics. We select the option from the main menu and confirm correct connection of the testing leads. This self-diagnostic check ensures that the unit internal voltage and current generators and meters are working properly. This diagnostic check should be run before and after each testing session to ensure personal safety and valid testing results. Thank you for watching this presentation. Comments and suggestions about this video will be greatly appreciated.